From The Hobbit to Game of Thrones, dragons have long been a part of our lore. But some dragons don't live in fairy tales. They live on an island in Indonesia. And though they don't breathe fire, they're just as deadly as their mythical counterparts. Say hello to my little friend. Or rather, my huge, venomous friend. This is the mighty Komodo dragon. It's the largest, heaviest, and most deadly lizard in the world. So how big do they get? What makes them so deadly? And how do they hunt prey five times their size? Dun, dun, dun! Komodo dragons are indigenous to the Indonesian archipelago, which consists of about 17,000 islands. But you can only find these dragons on Komodo, Rinka, Gili Motong, and Gili Dasami, four islands in the Komodo National Park. They can thrive in a tropical savanna forest or beach climate and seldom explore too far beyond where they hatched. When fully grown, these reptilian beasts weigh up to 136 kilograms and grow as long as three meters. It's easy to see why early European explorers mistook them for crocodiles, but they're actually a type of monitor lizard. Although they aren't just any old monitor lizard, Komodo dragons are one of a kind because of their enormous size and their deadly venom. Don't piss these guys off. For decades, scientists suspected that the Komodo dragon's bite was deadly because of the 50 strains of bacteria in its saliva. This was challenged in 2009 by biochemist and microbiologist Brian Fry of the University of Queensland. He proposed that Komodo dragons have glands in their jaws that produce a toxin that lowers blood pressure, and it causes extreme hemorrhaging as the venom prevents the prey's blood from clotting. The lizard's serrated teeth create gaping wounds in their prey, often causing the animal to bleed out. And these dragons don't mind if their victims don't die right away. With their highly attuned forked tongues and sensory organs, Komodos can track their prey for days. And they can detect carrion from up to 10 kilometers away. Komodo dragons also have keen vision and can see up to 300 meters. And while they are sprinters that can run up to 20 kilometers per hour, they prefer to hunt by stealth, waiting for hours to ambush prey that crosses their path. When it comes to eating, dragons aren't picky. They're not only scavengers and hunters, but also cannibals, eating smaller dragons when necessary. Because of their sharp senses and reputation as opportunistic eaters, local communities bury their dead below the standard 1.8 meters trying to keep these so-called grave robbers from feasting on families dearly departed. These ancient reptiles can eat up to 80% of their body weight in a single meal. That's like a 68 kilogram person eating 48 porterhouse steaks in one sitting. I mean, I like eating a lot, but that's a bit excessive. Psst, I've done it. Speaking of steak, Komodo dragons will sometimes hunt water buffalo, which are five times the lizard size at over 450 kilograms. They take down this large prey by using their own size to knock them over. Then they use their vicious teeth to bite and shred their victims. Though Komodos could easily take down a human, they rarely do. While attacks on humans do happen, they are infrequent. Usually, they happen to an unwary national park guard or an unlucky villager who is in the wrong place at the wrong time. And as easily as they can eat all that meat, they can purge it. When escaping predators, like humans or other Komodo dragons, they will vomit all their stomach's contents. It lightens their load, making them faster. And also probably grosses them out. That makes perfect sense to me. I can't imagine sprinting with 48 steaks in my stomach. Again, I've done it. Just like mythical dragons, these creatures strike fear into the hearts of many. But herpetologists, zoologists, and reptile enthusiasts see them differently. They are, after all, real-life dragons, and that's pretty dang cool. Being the world's largest lizard and having a venomous bite is what Komodo dragons do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures. <laughs>